what's up, Rin Zero here. Um, I wanted to talk about inspiration and how do you get inspiration. Now, I know a lot of you guys go and, and look on YouTube and you guys watch other people's work. And that's all great and fantastic. But inspiration is the minute you walk outside your, your door. Look around and you guys all know the neighborhoods that are bad. You know, um, every city has them. Um, take a walk down them and take a look at the broken buildings and, and, and the cracked, uh, what do you call it, uh, streets and what the sidewalks look like. And, and this gives you inspiration, guys. And if you don't have anything like that or, you know, you live in, you know, a rural area where there's, you know, the, the, shoot the next neighbors, you know, 255 miles away, you know, then check on YouTube and look up uh, World War II, look up battlefields, you know, Beirut, you know, back in the, in the 1980s, you know, look at what did real buildings look like. This is what gives you inspiration, you know, do your homework and you guys will get your inspiration. Um, I see a lot of, mo many models that I go on YouTube and I'm kind of disappointed because there's so much more you can do with that model. And mainly I'm talking about uh, Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard is something of, let me see if I have anything near me, but, um, like the snipers and whatnot, you know, uh, would they have worn capes? I don't know if it would be capes. I think they would actually drape something like a cheesecloth, you know, in scale. And you paint that green and stuff and then put, you know, little, you know, bushes in them. And I would think that would be more of something they would have used. I mean, you look at real snipers of World War II. And that, they were more prominent back then. I think that, the, that that Imperial Guard would have done something more like that. Look at their uniforms, how they're all, you know, torn up and ripped up and stuff. No, people paint these beautiful, you know, Imperial Guard, and no insult, they're beautiful Imperial Guard armies that I've seen. But is that what they would have really looked like being out in the field? I don't think so. And I don't think you find that very believable either. So you would go and find these things. It's like how I see a tyranny. Tyranny would not be a clean, painted, nice, shiny, brand new model that's sitting on the, on the table. It's a dirty, moving monster that's coming after you, and it's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's in the elements, and it's, it's a bioweapon, you know. Is it pretty looking? No, it's not pretty looking. You know, it's, it, you know, I, it's hard to explain how I see things. And when I look at other people's models, and it's like, why did you go this route, you know? Now, the main concern now is with Ricci, you know, why did he have to lead all his pictures? Why did he have to go? You guys know I'm a very, very good friend of his and still talking to him now. Um, the reason why is because he has other issues in his life that he has to get put together to build his own life. Okay, so I mean, I'm getting a lot of PMs and stuff about why, why, why. Put it in a nutshell, he has to put his life together, okay? Is it the last time you hear from the Retribution Angel? I can't decide that. But right now, he is dead set that you guys will not hear from him again. Um, only the lucky few, like myself, um, I was lucky enough to be a very good friend of his. But his message is build it yourself. That's my message to you too. Build it yourself. You guys have the talent you just haven't tried. And that is the honest truth. You know, he basically got overwhelmed with all your guys' comments and stuff and, you know, and he has to put his life together and he is a real person. You know, and it's hard to explain that because some of you are going, like, oh, no duff, you know, Ren, we, we know he's, he's alive, he's a real person on the... You guys saw him through his work, and none of you guys wanted to build on your own. And the message is, this is what's capable of you, but you don't do it. 
you know, I'm building here and I'm showing you guys things and you guys are all, wow, you know, this is awesome, you know, same with, with Richie stuff and oh, it's awesome. But you guys have to pick up the blade and dance. Guys have to do it, man. Stop living through other people's artwork when you have the ability to do it. We're giving you the tools. I'm showing you how to do it with foam, you know, um, cat litter, you know, you, you basically grind it up, uh, you know, the tools needed, you know, you got saws, you know, I got, you know, glue guns, I'm, I show you every bit of the way, guys, put your work out there, put it out there, and, and show people that you're capable of doing it, instead of, you know, watching, going, wow, that, that was pretty awesome, okay, when's the next video, we're showing you because we want you guys to build your own, Show me your battlefield. Show me what you guys have because that that excites me too. You know, especially when you guys say, "Hey, this was inspired by Ren Zero. You know, I, I I seen this on his video and I built this and I put this together. You know what, guys? We just want you to build your own. You know, and we can't show you anymore. You know how you know you could take a model as far as you want. The inspiration's out there. The internet's out there. The pictures are out there, walking outside, your house is out there. Build it. Build your imagination. You guys have great imagination. Bigger than mine. And I know you guys do because I'm seeing the PMs you guys are sending me. It's bigger, huger. You guys are taking my idea and blowing it out the window. But, well, you know, but I'll build it someday. Why someday? Is tomorrow guaranteed to you? This is Ren Zero.